Hello everyone. So today's session is on how to measure the leaf area with the help of Image software, which is an image analysis software with multiple functions and uses. So first, open the software. There are three bars in the images software. At the top is the menu bar, then the toolbar, and the status bar. So we'll get to know about the uses of these tools while we measure the area of the leaf. Now go to files and then to open to select the desired scanned image of the leaf for which we want to find the area. Here I have scanned images from my assignment on the herbivore leaves. I am going to use one of them for this session. So this is the scanned image of two leaves with a point and a ruler. The next step is to set the scale and why is it important to set the scale? Because it is necessary to give a known distance and a unit to the software on the basis of which it will measure the area of the leaves. So to do that, first go to magnifying tool, then keep clicking on the ruler till the numbers and the lines are comfortably seen. Now go to this straight line tool and draw a 1 cm line. So this 1 cm is the known distance which we are going to enter in the software. Now go to analyze and set scale. In the set scale, enter 1 in the known distance as we have drawn the line of 1 centimeter and in the unit of length, enter centimeter. Remember to click on this option global which will make this 1 cm scale as a constant for the current session of the software. That means while the software is open we don't have to again and again set the scale and we can measure the area of n number of leak scanned images. But if the software has been closed then we have to again open the software and again set the scale by the same process of drawing the line and then entering the known distance. So now click on OK and the scale has been set. Now zoom out the image. So the next step is to only focus on the leaves and cast out the unnecessary details from the image. To do that, go to image, then to adjust, and then color threshold. This color threshold tool helps us to only focus on the leaves by giving them a contrasting color and a more faded color to the background. And we can do that by adjusting the bars in the brightness. Remember, at the initial time, it requires a bit of patience and time. But after getting a hand-on experience on color threshold tool, it will take less time to adjust the bars. So after adjusting the bars of the brightness, also adjust the bars and the saturation to remove the unnecessary color from the background. Mm -hmm. 
So after adjusting the colors, close this color threshold tool. So now you can see that there may be some portions in the leaf which may be left out by the color threshold tool because of their faded color. So to fill the leaf with the same color, uh, also add the left out portions of the leaves uh, in the measurement aspect. First select the individual leaf by selecting this band tracing tool and then go to this leaf. Now you can see after selecting this leaf there is a yellow border all across the leaf that means this individual leaf has been selected. So after selecting the leaf go to edit and fill. So after selecting this color fill option so all the areas within the leaf which has been left out are also included with the same color. But remember that this option only works in the intact leaves. But if the leaf or the project is based on herbivory leaves, then this color fill option should not be used because it will also include the herbivory parts of the leaves. So for the intact leaves, it can be used. So do the same thing for the second leaf selected with the band tracing tool and now you can see that the borders are not connected here because it's an herbivory part here and here as well. So when you go to edit and fill you can see that as the borders are not connected here so this portion has been left out. So now the next step is to measure the area. So for that, first go to analyze and then set measurements. So here we have many options on the basis of which we can get our results. So our main focus is on finding out the area. So we have selected the area, then click on OK. Now it is important to follow the sequence of the leaves. Otherwise, while getting the result table, it is it may get con uh, more confusing that uh, which area the result table is showing is of which leaf. So better to go with the sequence. So first select this leaf, the first leaf with the band tracing tool, and then go to analyze and measure. So here you can see some numbers are shown. So this is the area of the first leaf, the selected leaf. This 72.399 centimeters. Remember that we have set the scale in centimeter, the unit which we have given. So the result is also in the same unit. So the area of first leaf is 72.399. To find out the area of the second leaf, just select it with the band tracing tool and then go to analyze and again click on measure. So this is the area of the second leaf 62.926. So but remember that while selecting the leaf with the band tracing tool there may be some portions in the leaf which can be selected by the band tracing tool while avoiding the whole air leaf. So better to focus on the yellow border that if it is covering the whole leaf or not. So this is one method how to find out the leaf area, how to get the result given. But there is second uh, method also to get the result table. So for that select the first leaf 
go to analyze then to tools and then to this ROI manager so if there are only small number of leaves then we can use this ROI manager so because this helps in labeling the leaves also how did, how can we use this ROI manager click on this labels and show all now we just have to simply add the leaves so as the band tracing tool has been selected so just simply click on the first leaf then add then second leaf then add as you can see that uh, the software has automatically labeled the each each leaf with the sequence so we don't have to write numbers but if there are more leaves then this label option should not be used and better to mark the leaves with a pen so as the number of leaves has been added then go to this measure and it will give the area of all the leaves which are selected so this is another option uh, how we can uh, get the result table of the leaves area so after uh, generating the result simply select and copy them to the excel uh, uh, sheet or wherever you want to use the results so this is the process of uh, measuring the leaf area with the help of images software so i hope uh, you all get the crux of how to uh, measure the leaf area with the help of image software thank you